Good morning. Thank God it's Friday. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. I am Veronica Dan Ikoi. I'm not here alone. I have Kemi Ola Adeyemo. It's an all women affair this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. <laughs> and indeed, thank God it's Friday. Good morning. Right. Uh, some developing story. Uh, we have been tracking this story with uh, the former Deputy Senate President Ike Kweremadu, his wife, and the doctor involved in the organ harvesting saga. And uh, today, it is being reported that he will be knowing his fate. He was already found guilty in March. And today, there are reports saying that um, there are chances that he faces up to a life sentence uh, today if uh, the old London Old Bailey Court you know, uh, presides over his matter later today. Absolutely. And uh, many people are expectant to know what that outcome will be because for a 2015 law, this is the very first time that um, a case of this nature would come up under the um, trafficking prohibition law in, in the UK. And of course, we are mindful of the pleas from Nigeria. Yes. And, um, and her neighbors, you know, urging the UK courts to Tampa be Justin lenient, absolutely, yeah. to, be, to be lenient on uh, the Equerimadus who are said to be first-time offenders. And um, in addition to his uh, big credentials out there, even the former president, Olusha Gorba Sojo, has you know, a letter. also written and urged that he has, um, he has learned his lessons. And mm -hmm. so the court should, you know, sentence him. Even 10 years, where we, we understand that 10 years... It's a minimum of 10 years, but as much as a, um, a lifelong sentence, even mm -hmm. that is, 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 is a big blow to anyone, talk less mm -hmm. someone of his standing. So it really is going to probably be the biggest story of the day uh, when the court finally hands down its but, verdict. But, but like we had this conversation some time ago, and um, the guest was telling us, because he understands uh, how the it laws. runs, the laws mm -hmm. in the UK, and he's saying because of his standing, that will also be a matter in court because he is expected to have understood the law, been a lawmaker. Okay, that it could be used against him. That that could work mm. against mm. him because you're standing. It means you are not ignorant. You, you are a lecturer somewhat and you are finding yourself in this situation. And that he, this could also work against him because it is expected because it is seen that you are someone who has a standing in the society and you understand what the laws are and should have understood how to interpret the laws. And so this would be like you are cutting corners, you did it deliberately. Mm, that, that, that's a very interesting perspective. And come to think of it, the court um, have, has also you know, not regarded, or should I say the prosecution has weaved that sentiment into all its arguments so far, mm. saying that... Um, this is a man of authority, is a man of means. So while um, Mrs. Equiro Madu was granted bail and the daughter, he wasn't, the early, he wasn't. Yeah. On, on account of his standing in, mm. in society that he could jump bail, it was even through his um, authority, they say, that he brought in uh, the victim, the, the victim who was even found on feet to, yeah. to, to donate um, his kidney to uh, the, the daughter, daughter. Of, of Mr. Equiro Madu. So, so these are, these are interesting, interesting twists. And mm. I, I can imagine that it's going to be a very interesting argument in court when they finally come in to deliberate on what uh, amount of sentencing should be awarded to, to the query model, since, as you've also said, they have been found guilty. So as, as what, what is due them now, no one can really tell. We don't know whether it's... And, and there's no room for fine or some form of community mm -hmm. sentence, community service of some sort. It's an all-right all, all right jail term. We don't know how rigid or flexible the, the UK court will be on this one. Absolutely. And it goes to show that um, whether you are a person of standing in the society, whoever you are, when you travel to other countries, you must understand their laws. Do not assume that things run there as things run in Nigeria. You may not find it funny at the end of the day. True, <laughs> and especially with this law, because uh, at, at a point one would wonder, is the law, is this particular law favoring the victim who is in dire need? Mm. We know how rampant uh, the kidney diseases have become of late, but mm. the, the UK government argues that um, this law is to make sure that there is no element of coercion. If anyone wants to donate an organ, it should be of his free will because what they are doing is, is risky mm -hmm. and is very brave. And so there mustn't be any form of compulsion or coercion or anything at all you know, to that nature. So 
uh, it's it's a watershed moment uh, for the laws, and yes, it serves as a lesson to everyone going to you know countries where laws are being upheld. Uh, here in Nigeria, mm, well, <laughs> it's a lesson to everyone. It's indeed. a lesson for it, everyone, indeed. actually. So we should know how to manage ourselves, understand Absolutely. the laws wherever you find yourself, Absolutely. because uh, anything as if you break the law, you find yourself. Uh, uh, you find yourself in a situation that you do not uh, like. Let's leave the.